I'm a veterinarian, take care of pigs. And so I work with uh, farmers that primarily are involved in uh, raising food for people. I think that's an important thing, and so we focus a lot on uh, keeping those animals healthy and minimize the amount of disease and, and problems in those farms. Pigs are beautiful. They're a fun animal to work with. You'll see that when we get out to the farms. Today we're at a farm called Riverdale. It's been coming out to the farm since it was built in 1997. Let's go take a look in this room and uh, kind of see how the fairing's going, Randy. Well, you got the rooms just right, though. They're laying out so comfortably. Things look great. Uh, we use these farrowing stalls, they're called. We, the center part is just for the sow, and the reason we do that is it controls her movements and just protects the babies as they're being born and as they're growing up. You can see that we've got the sow, or the adult, in the middle so that the pigs can access uh, food and get to the dinner table no matter which side of the pen they're on. But you can see the sows are comfortable in these stalls. We, we really try to tune in to what what they're feeling and what their needs are. And uh, one of the things we always look for initially when we come into the room is how does the room feel? Is the air fresh? Is it warm? Is it comfortable? Anything look to be in distress? Again, it's all preventive medicine. We try to avoid having to do any medications. So we set the room up to, to help us in that respect. So we're gonna look and see if any of them are having any trouble having their young. Uh, if we have to assist uh, any farrowing. We're going to check this sow. This is actually her first litter she's ever given birth to, so she's a new mom. We'll take this sleeve and we'll use some disinfectant lube and we'll go check her. I don't think she's done yet. We just want to make sure that she's not having any trouble. It's been a little bit since that last pig came out. So we use this plastic sleeve so we don't risk uh, transferring disease from an animal, one animal to another with, with our hands. Yeah, there's a pig in there. You see a lot of mucus around his mouth. His head was stuck in the, in the pelvic inlet, in the birth canal. So those are the ones you worry about. If they don't get out in time, they'll become that stillborn pig because they never had a chance to breathe. He'll be fine. As soon as he's feeling up to it, he'll be up eating at the dinner table with everybody else. That's the fun part of the job too, is having a successful birth on all these animals. You work hard to get them to this stage. We want to make sure that they make it out alive. It's a good thing we checked her, Randy. She yeah. was tight. I'm afraid that this stage, having as many as she's already had, she'd have a tough time pushing that last one out. Yep, they get tired out when they get to the end. So, about another uh, 15, 20 minutes, we probably want to take another look at her and see if she's had any more pigs. The breeding animals spend a fair amount of time in individual pens. So I, I think there's a misconception on how did we get to that point. The short answer for why that is, is that we're able to take better care of each individual. Sows fight. We'll see a lot more injuries in group housed sows than we do in, in any other age group that's housed together. It, it's a better way to care for animals. The care and the quality of effort that we're spending on the farm is better than ever. He's already up moving around. That's the picture of health right there.